So you've just got a nice keyboard for your child and it's so frustrating because they're playing like this. And you want them to play like this. So how can you go from one to the other? The key is in the way that you've set up your piano or your keyboard. So what you need to do is absolutely crucial to get it the right height. Because if it's too high, the child will be sitting like this and their wrist will come down like this. So you want to get it the right height off the floor. And it's sometimes really tough, you know, when you've got one of those X-frame stands. So my piano that comes on a stand is 72 centimetres from the ground. So first thing, get a tape measure and measure the stand and measure that it's at the right height. So once you've done that, number two, make sure that you get a bench that's the right height too. I'm actually going to show you mine. So mine is like one with wheels on the side of it and that helps it to go up and down and this helps you to get it at the right height. And number three, your child might need something to rest their feet on so they're not dangling. So I've got this yoga block, maybe for kids that are like eight and nine, and for little E's that are like four or five. I've just got one of these. You can just buy these for like seven pounds from Amazon. They're the, the steps that children use sometimes to access things like the loo and stuff. So you've got that. And so finally, when your child is sitting at the right height, you'll know because when they're sitting too low like this, their arm will be down like this. And when they're sitting too high, their arm's gonna be like this. But what you wanna watch for, the most important thing, is that their arm makes a nice straight line like this. And why is that? Why do we need that? Because your fingers need to push down on the keys. So your fingers and your wrist need to be higher than the keys so they can push down. But if your hand and your wrist is already down, the only way that we can push down is if we pop our fingers up first like that. And that can be really uncomfortable, you know, and it can make it kind of frustrating for them to practice. So I hope that was helpful. Yeah, just make sure that you've got your keyboard or piano set up really nice before they play and they'll get so much more enjoyment out of it.